Hello and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to share with you three products that I just received in the mail. This is an unboxing video and we will unbox these new packages that I just got in the mail. Now, we will start with the digital multimeter. I just bought a digital multimeter, a low budget multimeter with buttons instead of the rotatory switch. And I also requested a watt meter just to make sure that I know how many watts each of my electronic appliance is uh, taking. It's a very good device for power calculation inside your house or inside your factory or at work. I think the third product is an electron component, but I don't know yet what it is, so we'll have to wait on the end of this video to know. So let's start with the multimeter. Now this is the multimeter that I got. So let's start by unpacking this. As you can see, comes out of the box without a carton box, as you can see. It's quite small as you can see compared to my hands. Let's unwrap this. Here we have the two connectors, and as usual, they come with every multimeter that you might buy online. We have a user manual. It's intelligent digital multimeter. We also have the multimeter itself. This is it. Now let's take this away. It's a protective layer so that the multimeter won't get any scratches, I think. It's not a very good packaging, to be honest, but it's good compared to the price. Now here is our device. Let's bring it closer to the display. As you can see, it's uh, 113E, the type of the multimeter, smart multimeter, comes with a LED light and a buzzer. And here we have buttons instead of the uh, regular uh, DL. Now, we also have the specifications here in the back. As you can see, DC 0.5 volt up to 600 volt DC, can measure that. AC voltage from 1 volt to 600 volt, the RMS between 10 hertz and 400 hertz, the hertz is between 10 hertz and 1000 hertz, uh, the capacitance can measure from 0.05 microfarad to 6000 microfarad, uh, up to 10 mega ohm when it comes to resistance, uh, less than 30 ohm when it comes to conductivity, and a diode that is rated below 2 volt. Now this is where you can hook up the device. And as you can see, here we have the NCV connector. Now it also comes with this so that you can easily place it on the desk. Now the screen itself has also a protective layer. It's called, the company is called Rich meters 113E, and I will leave a link in the description for anyone who wants to purchase this meter. Now, what I like about it is the buttons. I don't like that. And this is the on off button. And here we have the hold HCV button. Here we have the light and backlight button. Here we have a capacitance diode frequency measurement. And in here we have the three common props that are, we are used to. This is an NCV LED, and this is the buzzer and a LED. That's it. These are the main specifications. Now, we need to unscrew this for the device to test it, but we won't do this now. I will do it probably at the end of this video, but you can see how small it is. Buttons, they look very, very nice, and the build quality is very nice. This is a protective layer, the orange layer. 
around the meter and to lock beautiful on the desk. Now let's jump to the second product. This is the energy meter. So once you unwrap this, as you can see the package is the package is almost damaged as you can see. So let's take a picture for that just to make sure that we can report it if anything went wrong. Okay, now let's take this out from the good side. As you can see, it's pretty huge. I didn't expect that. It comes with a protective carton here around the, the two props. And there is no, not much things. That just a small user manual and the device itself. Now, this is the device rating. Don't know if this will be like visible or not. Okay, it's reversed. Now, as you can see, this is the device. Comes with four buttons the function, cost up, down for moving around. This is where you will place your device, your electronic device, the CRTV. Or anything, then you will place this uh, inside your, let's say, power socket in your house, and it will start showing you the watt uh, calculations on this display. And you can even add the cost per kilowatt, and it will show you how uh, much uh, you will have to pay for the consumption on this specific device. Again, looks nice it's a very neat device and it's a huge device as you can see it's almost larger than the digital multimeter as you can see compared together so this will be tested out in a separated video but this is the device i bought it and the operating voltage is 230 volt ac frequency 50 hertz wide voltage range from 2 to 200 volt to 250 volt Operating current max 16 amp, the watt up to 3680 watt, and looks good overall. The build quality is good, uh, I can feel it as you can see. That's it, this is the second product that we got today. Now, let's see the third product that we got, and this is a small box. Now it's labeled electronic uh, component, but I don't know what's okay. Now I know. It's basically that's really weird. Just one piece. I ordered like four. This is a board. It's called ESP32 uh, board. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is one of the boards that you can use. It's like an Arduino board that support Ethernet and it's a very powerful board. Now that's it. This is these are the three products that I just got today. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video. Again was a digital multimeter and held a power meter for my electronic devices and a microcontroller for programming uh, embedded systems. I'll make sure that I will post new videos for other products that I have requested online. Now, if you want links to buy any of these products, you can find the links in the video description. Thanks for watching. This is Ashraf from Educational Engineering.